Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to multiply using equal groups. By now, you should have already watched my YouTube video on what equal groups are. Basically, it's a multiplication strategy to figure out the answer to a multiplication problem by drawing a model or a picture. So let's start out with three times four. What we learned in our other video is that this X can say lots of things besides the words times. Um, it can say groups of, it can say hops of, it can say rows of, today it's saying groups of because we're drawing groups. So instead of saying three times four, we're gonna say three groups of four. And that's the picture we're gonna draw. So three groups, your groups are big circles like this. I'm gonna draw three of them because that's how many it tells me to, three groups of four. And there has to be four in each group. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. To find my answer, I go back and I count up all the dots to get my answer. I've got four here, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So 12 is going to be my product. Now, it is very important to make sure you have the right amount in each group. I prefer to use a um, marker or a crayon um, because a pencil, if you're doing like little marks like this, this could be very hard to see. Like you can barely see those marks. So if you are using a pencil, that's fine, but you might want to make them look a little bit more like this. So that way you can count them up easier and don't accidentally miss one. Also, you'll notice that as I count them, I mark them out. That way I know that I counted them and I don't accidentally miss one because it is super duper easy to miss one once we get into the bigger multiplication problems. All right, we're gonna do another one that's a little bit harder. Let's try four times six. If you don't know what four times six is, well, that's no problem because we can draw equal groups to figure it out. Four, this X is equal groups of six. So we're gonna draw four groups and we're gonna put six in each group. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Now we're going to count them up. And like I said, I like to mark them out as I go to make sure I don't miss any. Um, I don't really need to count this because I know that there's six in it because I know there's six in each group. So six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So my answer here is 24. My product is 24. I have four groups of six, the answer is 24. You can use this strategy to solve any multiplication problem that's like a single digit multiplication problem, but the bigger the numbers get, the more dots you're gonna have and the harder it is to count them. So this is a really good strategy for when we're beginning to learn multiplication, but it's gonna be really important for you to remember and memorize your times tables. So that way you don't have to sit here and draw a picture to know that like eight times nine equals 72. Because if you have to draw 72 dots, you're gonna be here for a while and you might accidentally miscount one. So for now we're learning that this is a really good multiplication strategy to use um, but it gets really it gets really confusing or a little bit harder when you use bigger numbers to try to figure out the answer this way. So let's try um, a couple more. Let's do um, three times nine. Let's see what that equals. So we're gonna draw three groups. I'm gonna draw my groups kind of big because I know that I have to put nine in them. Make sure you make your dots or whatever your marks um, very easy to read. So we got three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Remember I did three groups and this is the number that we put in the groups. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, now I'm gonna go back, count them up to find my product. I know that there's nine in here, so I don't need to count that. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. I would recommend not counting as fast as I did because you might get confused. So go slow, take your time, make sure you get that right answer, okay? Now we're gonna do one more. <clears throat> but this time, you're gonna have the picture and we're going to figure out what multiplication sentence this is showing. So we already have the picture drawn for us. Like what do you do if you already have the equal groups drawn for you? Well, let me tell you, very easy. Um, what you're gonna do is count the number of groups and that's gonna be your first factor. So here I have one, two, three, four, five, five groups of one, two. There's two in each group. So five times two, and then the answer would be two, four, six, eight, 10. So your first factor is the number of groups 
Your second factor is the number in each group. And your answer is all the marks that you draw, okay? So your first factor is the number of groups, five groups of two, and you put two in each group, and that is how you would figure out what multiplication sentence is shown there. Most of the questions that you're gonna see today are gonna be drawn like this, and they're asking you to find the multiplication sentence. So really put that information in your brain, and remember that your first number is not gonna be two, it's gonna be the number of groups, okay? Five groups of two. So I hope that helps. Good luck, guys. Let me know if you have any questions.